Hello, welcome back. This is Dragon Tank 1400 here, and this is Dragon Tank plays modded Minecraft. So, I'm still a little sick, so my voice is going to be a little messed up, and I'm going to try to keep it together for the whole episode to uh, get this posted. Now, we're back here because I just wanted to let's get out of this F5 mode, get back into first person, get that back up. Um, so, this is working little loud but it is working it is uh, basically you just have to make sure if you use a custom NPC these as chunk loaders I don't know if this is the case for other stuff but if you use them as chunk loaders you need to like see load the area every time you log in I guess maybe in case unless you're on a server I'm not sure how that's gonna work so this is working fine. I haven't worked on it at all. Like I said, the first thing I'm going to do is rotate this over there and then kind of stack these up. Hopefully I have five that here, maybe maybe seven or more. We'll have to see. So anyway, let me go back to the laboratory just for the second. That's not where we're going to be spending most of our time. However, it is where I started uh, started last week. I mean, I ended last week's episode here, and I started on something, and it was the shops in the wall, and I'm, I like the idea, however, my execution of the idea was really not up to par, par and I'll show you what I mean. A couple things I like about it is these chisel uh, grindstone blocks, bricks, or whatever they are. And I like some of the compartments. And I like the idea and this is gonna come out, have an eating area here. We'll have to see how all that's gonna work out. However, maybe I should use stained clay <laughs> for the walls. Maybe and that's rep each stained clay is gonna represent like different like paint that you see in buildings. <clears throat> I really do like bricks though. I really like how the brick goes with the marble really well. I'm gonna have to use that from the laboratory or the museum. I mean the library. Did I say laboratory? I meant library. Oh and I and I forgot to mention this, but I do need to add um, pixel art, some flowers, and in the sign that says basically flowers. And what I was thinking about, so not to block the view from up there, is kind of have like a vine with flowers on it or something. I'm not sure, and kind of even wrap around the building. I'll have to figure that out. I wanted to work on that too, but just stuff wasn't for building. Stuff wasn't like happening for me uh, this week. I don't know why. So I did, however, have some good ideas for some redstone <laughs> in the f for the fireworks display. I mean, not necessarily redstone. Um, let me uh, before I glitch. Let me get off these shoes. If you if you want to in depth on this episode, go back to I think it's like first redstone project or something. See how that works. <laughs> See how all that craziness works. So I added these two. This one's the tail, and this one's the head. And these two are uh, basic uh, shape one, shape two, tail one, two, three is to have it roughly that one's a 50 percent this is roughly a 50 percent chance a little bit a little bit less probably like a 40 percent chance or something of it coming out of it not coming out i mean so we can have uh, fireworks without either one or with only one of them or with both so I thought it was simple. I was coming. I was what I was gonna do. 
was way more complicated. I was going to repeat this three more times. <laughs> yeah, that was that was going to be stupid and have these come out every single time, but this this works. I mean, honestly, it's a lot it's so much simpler. <laughs> so much simpler. Anyway, so what do I got going on down here? So the uh, I'll show you that first. So the tail and the head cobblestone is um, let me up is filtered back. Wait, oh no, it's sorry, it's filtered back into a white list back into each hopper, and then isn't blacklisted here. So make sure it doesn't come in that chest. So let me let me get on top here. So guys, I got some redstone going. So basically, there's just a simple comparator. When stuff enters this chest, the redstone signal will go to that block, go to here, and this repeater needs to be set up to 128 ticks, or you know, more than 64, to make sure the uh, gunpowder gets into the chest. I'm not sure exactly on the timing yet, but I think that will work. Now these are set up to eight right now, and I, it probably doesn't need to be eight. It probably, it probably can be, mm, probably can just be four. I can probably just use a regular repeater um, for it, which I don't know if it's gonna be a less expensive or not. This whole project is gonna be really, really expensive. So I have, I have some sound mufflers here, and that's for these DC electric engines from Rotary Craft. I am going to have to craft 620 of those. Now, these emit exactly the amount of power it needs to craft one auto crafting unit. So I could get into higher tiers of Rotary Craft to power these. However, I don't want this to be a Rotary Craft base, and these just require redstone single, so it's simple. And because the Rotary Craft base is going to go into the Nether, hopefully, I'm going to see if I can get that worked out. So for each uh, auto crafting unit, I need one of those. I need 620 auto crafting units because there are going to be 310 auto crafting spots. I need two for each spot. So basically, there's 18 um, auto crafting, um, not spots. I already use spots, but you know, you know what I mean. Place it, placeholders for 18 different auto crafting units. And basically, I need a total of 5,580 different combinations. So when you divide that by 18, that's 310. You gotta times it by two because of, you need two for each because if you look at fireworks, fireworks, you need one for the star, and then one for the firework rocket. So, so that's why we need double. And the combinations, I did some math, I won't bore you with the math, but it is 5,500. Now, this is all gonna be extremely expensive. If you look at the auto crafting unit, I need this HSLA steel, and that's this basically converts to one one of one of these because that's the recipe. And same with the uh, shaft. Seven there, and then I need three more there, so that's ten. So I need five for each one of those. I need um, well, actually not three because that creates two. So I need 
8.5 for each one of those. There's 620. I'm not going to do the math, but that's a lot. And then I need three gold ingots. That's only no, 1.5 for each one. That is only um, 9 910. Redstone, I basically need one, so I need 620. So the redstone's basically done. The ender pearls are basically done. The gold I can get there, but then I also need these DC engines. Which are another seven for each one, and that's a lot of iron. I need a lot of piping. I think I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna use a resin servo just to make sure it gets out of there faster. These I'm just use regular servos. So, uh, not counting all that stuff, and then I need a lot of redstone for up here as well. So, we're talking a very, very expensive project. Lots of iron. Lots of redstone, some gold, some ender pearls. I mean, sh those are. I mean, that's not a huge deal. <laughs> lots of chest, so lots of wood. So I'll probably have to get my tree farm going before I get this project going. Comparators. Let me just type in comparator, actually. Come. Comparator. Because there's two different types here. There's this one. Yeah, for each one, I need another quartz, which is expensive. Or, I guess. Hmm. Drop another quartz seed made from nether quartz dust and sand into a puddle of water to make the process. Fat, faster add crystal growth accelerators. I'm gonna have to get into this to uh, create the another quart because I don't think there's any other way to make another quartz. I mean, I can get silicon. What's this? Alright, so I basically can't get whatever that is. Well, maybe, hold on. Can I get the... That's chemical decomposer. Can I get this stuff? Hmm. All right, well, I'll, I'll look into another quartz <clears throat> later because I need a lot of them too. Uh, well, yeah, I need a lot. <laughs> but this basically means that in order to get this project done, I need to set up an, at least an iron farm and I already got a kind of redstone farm going. <clears throat> Maybe gold, but I think I might be able to get the gold out just from mining. And in order to help it out, I will need to get into a further ore processing because Rotary Craft has some pretty good ore processing mechanics. I think it's night. Let me sleep. So basically, everything I've been avoiding, I'm still going to collect iron. Let me collect this right now, actually, before I forget. Oh, I need, and I have sound mufflers, which is redstone too, and stone, I need a lot of stone for this, which, no, no problem getting that. It's, this is going to be a very complicated project, and basically, I have to type in, oh, and I also need these as well, I completely forgot about the crafting pattern, pattern, let's, crafting, pattern which is yeah more steel 
It, at least it creates four. But I need 5,000. I need, well, actually, 10. I need 11,000. And 160 of them. That's a crazy. <laughs> that's a crazy number. <laughs> and for each one, I have to type in. Uh, the crafting recipe for this and then basically what I'm gonna do is when it comes into here there's a star I'm just gonna create the crafting recipe from from there once it's created by manually and hopefully eventually in the next few years that this will be automatic <sighs> it is gonna be a very long project this is a huge huge project I'm undertaking it might be easier with computer craft and or a system but I would still have to type in the program for each 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 one of those crafting recipes which honestly that's gonna be the thing that takes the longest so I'd rather have it this way so I can kinda confirm where it's screwing up it, it would be easier to find where it's screwing up than using like a program I think because it's I think it's more visual or oriented and then I had to create a proper timing over here instead of just a button so yeah this is gonna be one of those projects one of those very complicated projects and then so <clears throat> I'm gonna take this it is one two three it's four blocks in length I mean width and then it's I think it's only like two, yeah it's only two blocks so four by two by one, two, three, four, five by five. Take it this way for a while. I'm gonna turn it, and basically it's gonna go like a snake. So it should should all work out good. Should be fine. It's just gonna take an extensive amount of resources, which means I have to get going on the iron iron golem. Uh, I have to get going on basically an iron farm. Is it iron's the thing I need the most? So, and I have to go get going on iron ore processing. I probably work on one of those two things next week. I really like to get into more rotary craft, so it might be just the ore processing. I have a lot of iron ore just sitting there. That'll help me. Um, to finish finish things going so how are we doing on time pretty good so and the uh, so the, the most time-consuming thing is gonna be creating the patterns and getting the iron I guess now the thing that's going to be easily to screw up in is so it will automatically if it has the materials will craft the first item then go on to the second and so on I tested this it works really consistent but the timing is necessary to get right because if there's if there's too much of iron item and it's unable to craft this fast enough it will go on to this next one <coughs> however that's really not a problem. I can fix the timing, so that's not a problem. What is a problem is, is I have to make sure that this is the highest priority of crafting in this system, and this is the lowest. And if it doesn't have that, it goes on to this next one. So, now, if you look if it goes on this next one does the same thing and I have to make sure that the last one isn't this isn't like from those materials 
it can't be cracked in any of the earlier ones. So the easiest way to do that is look at my ingredients. Be like, okay, diamond, glowstone, dust, and then this stuff. So basically, if it has like say a feather and and a diamond, it gets crafted in the first one or the first two, maybe, depending. And you need to. Uh, it's actually definitely the first probably few and then if it say it doesn't have magenta so I have to figure out the best but like, I can't just do this random either I had to actually lay it out and figure out the best way to do this it's yeah it's kind of complicated but once I get the pattern figured out for the like, these colors then I can just repeat the system for for all the rest. Because basically, got the three colors. So the best way probably to do it would be to do all the three colors, do like the maximum thing first, and then yeah, it's gonna be complicated. It's going to take some time to figure out, but I, I enjoy the challenge, the logistical challenge of it all. So, hmm, there's quartz. I'm probably going to need that for this project. Um, and I will work on that, this whole thing off camera, not anytime soon mind you because I still have to set up the iron farm and everything I'm pro actually I probably will work on it soon I just I'm wrapping my head around exactly what I have to do I'm probably gonna write this out on paper before I do it just because it is so complicated anyway we're getting to that point in time let me I don't know if it's night but let me try to sleep no so I'm going to get to the uh, passage of the day, the verse of the day, and I'm going to write it out and get back to you guys. Then Jesus said to him, Be gone, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. So I was thinking about a verse and kind of I'm praying about it. Couldn't really come up with anything. I don't know why this came to mind. Just like searching through the Bible and I and I saw this and I was just like that's 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 dead on. So first of all, salutes to idols, this alludes to false gods, this alludes to anything else. You shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. So we should really only worship God, the one and only true God. Anything else is false gods and false worship. Anyone else is false gods and false worship, and we shouldn't do it. Just that simple. Um, so, and this, this alludes to that fact of like one world religion that all religions are right, well, this directly con conflicts with other religions. Because you sh only shall you, in, in him only shall you serve. There's only one God. There isn't multiple gods. There isn't, it isn't like every religion has a piece of what God really is. No. God showed himself to the world through his prophets and through Jesus Christ through the authors of the Bible and his character God's character who God is 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 different than any other religion says it is except for Christianity so there can only be one right religion there really can 
and all the religions conflict with each other at the not just minor points they but major points they agree with minor points for the most part but the whole major points the things that make the religion they disagree with for example hinduism believes in multiple gods christianity believes in there's only one god <clears throat> Muslims believe that Muhammad was the prophet. Christians believe that Jesus Christ is God. Uh, Muslims don't believe Jesus Christ was God. They believe that he was important, but they don't believe he was God and is God in the flesh. And Christians believe that. So my point here, and that, and that, that those, those are major things in in those religions. So. You can't just say that all the religions are the same. You, you just can't. And if you say that, you're really only kidding yourself. And you're basically, you're not taking a stance. You're, you're lying to yourself and you just want the things to just go right for everyone and everyone's right. And it, that's just a horrible way of thinking. So I just wanted to conclude with that and oh, it's night, night time. Let's get one last look at the tree. I just wanted to conclude with that. Really hope you guys enjoyed the episode. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.